Welcome again. Right now we're at 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 1 through 11, role-playing Paul. Paul says, I wish that you would bear with me in a little foolishness, but indeed you do bear with me. We've read in previous studies how Paul said, I speak as a fool. So sometimes he speaks as a fool. This is one of those times. And you know, somewhere like Romans chapter 7, he speaks as a sinner, like a real sinner who, go, who follows after the flesh and not after the spirit. So Paul is known for writing like this, role-playing Paul. Sometimes he plays the role of a fool. Sometimes he plays the role of a sinner. For I am jealous over you with a godly jealousy. For I married you to one husband, that I might present you as a pure virgin to Christ. So Paul, when speaking to the believers in the city of Corinth, used the analogy of a marriage between a husband and a wife. He said to the believers in Corinth, I married you to one husband so that I may present you as a pure virgin to Christ. Paul emphasizes the importance of being pure, of being holy in regards to your relationship with Christ. But I am afraid that somehow, as the serpent deceived Eve in his craftiness, so your minds might be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. So he continues his analogy by saying that just as Satan deceived Eve, so Satan might deceive you because you are as the wife of Christ. I presented you as a pure virgin to Christ. So he likened the believers in Corinth to Eve and Jesus to Adam. And again, but I am afraid that somehow as the serpent deceived Eve in his craftiness, so your minds might be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. In context here, he is talking about purity. He's talking about holiness. Just the verse before, Paul made it very clear that his motivation, that his goal was to present them as a pure virgin to Christ. And then he said, you know, I'm worried that somehow Satan has deceived you from that. So the simplicity that is in Christ is the purity, is holiness, personal holiness. For if he who comes preaches another Jesus whom we didn't preach, or if you receive a different spirit which you didn't receive, or a different good news, or a different gospel that is, which you didn't accept, you put up with that well enough. And I guarantee you today in mainstream Christianity, they do preach a different Jesus than what Paul preached. They do preach a different gospel. Paul said right from the very beginning, God commands, okay, there's a command, commands every man everywhere to repent. How often do you hear that in church today? All you hear is ear-tickling messages. All you hear is self-help kind of messages. Paul writes letters time and time again to Corinth, to Galatia, to Colossae, warning the church. This is not warning the world, by the way. This is warning the saints. He writes his letters to the saints, okay? Taken in context. He writes his letters to the saints, not to the sinners, to the saints. And he warns them, if you are caught in sin, if you do this, 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 and this, and the other thing, you will not, and that is N-O-T, not inherit the kingdom of God. Again, where do you hear that being preached today? What churches actually preach against sin hot and heavy like Jesus did? I mean, Jesus, he healed the sick, yes. He loved those who came to him in humility and repentance, yes. But those who didn't, he rebuked sharply. He condemned sharply. He condemned them as being hypocrites. He condemned them as being whitewashed tombs. In other words, you look good on the outside, but inside you're full of dirty, filthy, rotten, stinking sin, and you are on your way to hell. In fact, not only are you on your way to hell, as Jesus said, you are sons of hell. He called them sons of hell. What pastors? Who, being pastors or priests, preach that way today? Calling people sons of hell, vipers, sons of Satan, okay? A lot of preachers today, they just get up like talking like, 
Well, we're all children of God. And in the whole world, we're all just children of God. Not at all what Jesus said at all. He called a lot of people sons, not of God, not children of God, but children of the devil. For I reckon that I am not at all behind the very best apostles. But though I am unskilled in speech, he couldn't speak very well, he wasn't a very good orator, yet I am not unskilled in knowledge. It's really important to have knowledge. No, in every way we have been revealed to you in all things. Or did I commit a sin in humbling myself that you might be exalted? Because I preached to you God's good news free of charge? I robbed other assemblies, taking wages from them that I might serve you. There's that old saying, robbing Peter to pay Paul. When I was present with you and was in need, I wasn't a burden on anyone. For the brothers, when they came from Macedonia, supplied the measure of my need. In everything, I kept myself from being burdensome to you, and I will continue to do so. As the truth of Christ is in me, no one will stop me from this boasting in the regions of Achaia. Why? Because I don't love you? God knows. And don't miss next session. This is going to be awesome. We're going to be talking about Satan. We're going to be studying the character of Satan according to the scriptures. Until then, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.